our 16 sports were located on four campuses throughout uh, Texas and Louisiana. Unlike the rest of the university, we chose, and a lot of it for the, because of the uniqueness of athletics, we had to stay in the game. And so we chose to continue while the university was closed during that semester. So all of our kids did as visiting students. They went to classes on these campuses uh, and they continued to practice and compete and represent Tulane. Well, we didn't even think we were gonna, we were gonna have a season. And then whenever we heard the devastation in New Orleans, we really didn't think that we'd ever be playing. During that year, being the, the face of what Tulane was at that moment, um, I mean, there was a lot of pressure, but at the same time, I mean, we took responsibility in wanting to represent Tulane with the utmost respect and dignity. I remember getting workouts from my coaches and trying to do everything that I could to stay in shape and be ready for the season to come back. That adversity probably was the kind of the, the common thread and greatest source of strength for all of us, uh, knowing that, you know, these, these kids lost uh, their lifelong dream and uh, everything they'd worked hard the first 18, 19 years of their life to be in position to do was taken away, yet they persevered. It changed everything, business, economy, and sports, both professional and collegiate. They were able to go to the NCAA and get the conference uh, commissioner and the other universities to cooperate with us and give us a waiver, which, which frankly gave us the ability to, uh, in the short term, continue to compete, be a member of the conference. Our programs went from 16 uh, to 8 that continued to compete. Uh, we, you know, as, as you would expect of Tulane, they continued to honor the scholarships of the young men and women whose uh, sports were suspended. But when you actually hear it, it just hits you, and I think I just broke down completely broke down crying. They had decided that cross country, we were not going to, we were all spread out all over the country. They weren't going to bring us back. So, you know, in, in hindsight, it took three quarters of a decade, almost eight years, to build back not only our sport programs, but uh, our athletic staff as well. So I, I was able to run cross country my senior year, which was one of my actually favorite experiences here at the university. I had to weigh the pros and cons and I said, okay, academics first. Tulane was such, is such a wonderful academic school. I decided to stay in the long run. It was a great decision for me to stay at Tulane. I wonder how, you know, in many ways we had um, a better season than my first two. Um, I and I think a lot of it has to do with us just being together and coming together. I think one of the, one of the things for us at that time was um, to, to keep that team together and see what we could do. And the next time that we were able to win a conference championship and, and um, have those 20 win seasons and have players like Jamie Montanino um, being first team all conference, um, I think that, uh, when I look back on it, was probably one of the greatest moments of just seeing their successes after they survived that year. Next to our own students, the group that stepped up most significantly across the nation was Tulane alumni. It happened immediately following the event and it's continued on through this, throughout this decade. The first project we did was Greer Field at Turchin Stadium. We also have the Hurt Center, which is a state-of-the-art volleyball and basketball practice facility, and then our Avron B. Fogelman Arena, which is housed in the beautifully renovated Devlin Fieldhouse, and of course, Yulman Stadium. You know, our, our infrastructure of Tulane Athletics has probably never been in the shape uh, at one time that it is today. And between that and the, the uh, level of conference we're in today, we think it brings uh, a great prospects for a great future uh, as we go forward for not only athletics but for Tulane University. Looking back on it, I remember thinking that going into my senior year there would be no football. And, you know, and athletics and overall would wouldn't even, wouldn't even last and, and to see this great facility and time I'm so proud of, of what Tulane has become.